I was wondering, are you guys with the with your first round pick? Are you in a position where you're targeting one position, or is it more just going after the the best player available at that point? No, well, that's a good question. Um, we look for the best player available. We have uh, players from multiple positions that we target uh, where we think we're drafting. Uh, when we build our list, we build our list without the idea of exactly where we're picking. As you know, that could change at any time. So uh, it's the best player available uh, each and every time. Rick Sadowski, NHL.com. Hi, Wade. Good morning. Um, I'm wondering, you guys are picking so low. How deep is this draft? And also, uh, how nice was it to get that second round pick last week? Thanks. Yes. Um, this draft, uh, I think like a lot of drafts, uh, has some spots where there's there's good depth. Um, this year being a little different than others, there's some mystery to this draft, some low viewing uh, spots. Uh, if you look at the Ontario Hockey League, the, the, the depth there is still to be determined. Um, so I, I would say it's an average draft. It's not, uh, you know, I think average is probably the best way to describe it. Uh, getting that second round pick uh, for our staff, uh, you know, the amateur guys really enjoy when we get another opportunity and, and having that come together was uh, exciting for our group. John Warrow, Associated Press. Yes, hi Wade. Um, you just spoke about the mis some, some mystery to this draft. How, how difficult, how, how much of a challenge is it for you and, and your 32, 31 colleagues, um, you know, scouting colleagues to assess where these guys rank based on how little some of them play. Yeah. With mystery comes opportunity. Um, there's going to be some, you know, some players that are selected maybe later this year that are going to be, uh, you know, better than the guys selected before them. So uh, there is some challenges. We, we've come up with some creative ways to try and simulate what we didn't see, whether it's through our analytics department, whether it's through video or other means. So uh, I think every team has, has done their best with what we have to work with. Again, it's not ideal. It would have been nice to have a lot more viewings, uh, live viewings, especially on players. But again, I think there's incredible opportunity here this year with this draft. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, wait, I actually wanted to ask about someone you guys drafted last year. Um, Jean-Luc Foudy, what did you see in him when you picked him and what excites you about him going forward? Yeah, a uh, very interesting player, uh, some dynamic pieces to his game, such an elite skater. Uh, and that's obviously something you see with our group. We, we put a premium on skating. Uh, he's got great bloodlines from his brother to his family. Uh, his parents are both elite athletes. So having the information on the background, uh, watching the player and understanding where he fit into exactly where we're headed as a group, uh, he was just such a good fit for our group. Any other questions for Wade? Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey, <clears throat> hey Wade, I see that... Uh... You played college hockey with Tavis and Dallas over at uh, at DU. I wanted to get your thoughts about being back in Denver with those guys. Yeah, it's strange how life takes turns and, and uh, goes full circle sometimes. Uh, yeah, both guys were, were teammates of mine, not only as players, but also part of a coaching staff in Alaska. Uh, some, some of my best memories in hockey, uh, they're there. Uh, some of my best friends in hockey, so it's a – it's a great dynamic. Uh, it's, it's neat how it's coming back together here with me working with the Avs and those guys being at DU. So two great hockey minds that I, I lean on quite a bit sometimes and, and, and vice versa. So it's, it's been a great relationship going back to geez, the early 90s. So it's been a long run together in this hockey world with those two guys. Kate Shefty, The Gazette. Hey, very belated congratulations on switching roles for the Avalanche. Um, how has this draft been different for you since you did switch roles? Well, it is quite unique with the timing of the, of the change, but also just the climate uh, for this year's draft. Um, it's, it's been a lot of work. Uh, it's in a good way. We have technology. We have some platforms available to us that allowed us to catch up on some things or to do some things differently uh, on a little bit of a restart for our group. But overall, I think we're very comfortable to where we are today. And as we get ready the rest of the week, go into our meetings. And finally, when we make our picks uh, Friday and Saturday, I think our group feels pretty good. And last one here for Wade, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Wade, I also just wanted to ask, are there any, I know you're looking for the best available players at every pick, but are there any positions within the system that you guys definitely have a focus on, like we want to bulk up 
at this spot? Yeah, it's a, again a good question. Uh, the amateur draft and our roster are so uh, so far apart with the the timing of it that what you guys see on our current roster and night to night and how we run our amateur draft, our amateur staff, and build our list they're they're very unrelated in a lot of ways just because these. The NHL draft is so young. These players are 17, some of them 18 years old, 19. Uh, by the time they're ready to play at the National Hockey League level, our roster has changed over multiple times. So uh, we really do stick to that best player available. Uh, I know it's not uh, you know, a fancy answer per se, but that's just the reality of it because there's so many moving pieces. And what you see in front of you when you come to the arena here is, is going to be different five years from now. And, and that's a lot of the drafting is for the future.